Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome back to Starbound 1.0 Episode 2. When we left off, we found uh, the Ancient Gate console, uh, and it told us to get some core fragments. How is everybody today? I'm doing fine. I feel a little better. <laughs> it's a good thing, because uh, I was feeling pretty poopy there for a bit. Um, I'm going to eat a potato. See if my life goes up a little bit. Can I craft bandages? Salve. That must be a new thing. Uh, a salve for healing minor wounds restores 50 health over 10 seconds. I like it. I like this cooldown too. I want to make like, uh, probably like, I don't know, 10 of them. 13 of them. I dig it. Will it craft if I'm not there? Oh no, I gotta keep, gotta stay here and do it. I like that a lot. So yeah, um, my my uh, fever has left a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> it's not quite there yet, but uh, it's getting better. I'm hearing like this weird static sound. I'm hoping it's the game and not. I think it is. I think it's supposed to be like wind blowing or something. So yeah, we're supposed to get some core fragments today. Um, yeah, I say we dig down right here. This looks like a perfect... Sp Ooh, there's a pod over there. We should go get that. So yeah, I'm kind of everywhere right now. Uh, core fragments are deep under the earth, if you don't know. Um, I really, really like that this game is starting to have some sort of progression. Uh, compared to how it was before. Like a progress... Like a... Uh, Almost like a quest line. It's good. It's really good. Story. It's, yeah. Oh, I love it. I couldn't wait to play this. That's why I played it sick the other day. Uh, we have a manipulator module, which is very good, because uh, with enough of these, you can upgrade your matter manipulator from the access panel on the right-hand toolbar. Woohoo! So yeah, we'll take that. We'll take those uh, fragments. We'll also take this pod chest, because why not? I think we should dig through this also. There we go. Get through this. I should start doing some crafting stuff today too. Uh, but it's all in good time. I have an awesome sword, so I mean, this sword is like the best one in the game. I mean, look at that. Three hit combo? Nothing's gonna touch me. Um, <laughs> can we upgrade yet? Oh, look at this. Holy moly. Uh, this lets us get liquids, I believe. Um, power generator optics. Uh, increase area of effect. What's this one? Uh, matter destruction rate by 100%. We need 8 for that. Expansion slot for liquids is 3. Uh, increase effective manipulator range by 2 tiles. Oh man, this is awesome. I love... Love, love, love that that thing's getting an upgrade. That wasn't here before. It was just kind of like this derpy menu in the sale menu. Uh, you just kind of... It just happens. Like, you get them and it's done. But yeah, this game has been revamped very, very good. I love it. Uh, can I, um... Gosh, the two-handed thing is kind of weird, though. Um, yeah, <laughs> could use a little work, I think. Well, I don't know. I think it's okay, because the manipulator module should be two-handed. You shouldn't be able to just hold it with one hand and be, you know, on Twitter and with your other hand and, uh, like, doing selfies. Like, look at me, I'm... Ooh. Ooh. I think we fought one of those last time, and they were kind of mean. Hmm. You can still jump up this, right? That's what I'm going for, is kind of this way to get up and down. I really, really, really want to fight him, and why haven't I regained that health yet? Guess we'll use a salve. Ah, uh, yeah. Should create a little more light in there, too. I see we could down just... Go ape shit on him. Uh, 
Oh, holy moly. Okay, I can still get up that, but I think I'm going to take a block down. There we go. Let's grab some of these vines, too. I mean, plant fiber. Excuse me, excuse me. It's plant fiber, Muley. I'm so glad to be back in Starbound. This game needed, needed this update so bad. So many years ago. Okay, right click to do back wall. Good. Which I'm glad they kept the ore in the back wall. Um, that was kind of a later change. Uh, I think it was in the last playthrough I did, but still one of those things that just I liked. Because I don't think it should just be below your feet. I think it should be behind you, too. There's some clay down here, too. I don't know if I... Well, if I build a colony, which I plan on, I should get some. Uh, let's see. A torch would be handy. Boop. Let's see. What do we got? Just slimes? I think I can handle that. But I kind of want to make this uh, more like more friendly to get up and down. So let's kind of dig some of this out. Ooh, and is that silver over there? I think this is silver. Silver ore. Very nice. So we'll have to craft a furnace and do all that stuff, but I'm kind of trying to stick to the quests. Uh, make it a little more difficult for myself, because I know how to craft and I know how to make armor and all that, but... Well, actually, I don't know. I don't even know if I can make armor. But, we'll see. Let's just follow the quest for now, and then, uh... If you guys yell at me loud enough, maybe I'll hear you. Big maybe. I don't know. I might just ignore you. No, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. Muley, when did you be become such a butt? You became the butt, Muley. The butt you're always talking about. The one. Alright. I hope this music isn't too loud for you guys, too. I'm talking as loud as I can. Actually, no, I'm not, but... But yeah, um... Yeah, you know. You know the deal. I got a baby in the house. I can't be yelling. She'll be at the door crying because I'm, you know... Talking and I'm not in the same room and... Yeah. I have to go to a, uh, a baby's birthday party today at the park. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's turning one. Little baby's turning one. Um, and he was born just a couple days after my daughter, so... Like, I think four days or so. Uh, which is just awesome. <laughs> Man, my, my daughter ate some cake. I can't wait to see this kid put his face in the cake. It's like the best part. Like, we were out at, uh, the same park last week for my daughter's birthday. And, uh, the whole time I'm, I'm going, is it time for cake? Is it time for cake? <laughs> is it time for cake? Couldn't wait. I was like the best, oh, it's the best part of any baby's birthday is the cake part. So they just put their face in it and it's all over. Then they, like, take their hands and put it on the back of their head and, like, smear it all in their hair. It's, ooh, I know what that is. We're going down there. Man, there's a lot of, like, ambience going on. I saw a shadow just pass by that, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's throw up some torches here. And I also want to see if I can reach one down here. Yeah, there's definitely something down there, isn't there? Um, can I, can I squeeze a torch down there somewhere? How far can I reach? Not that far. There we go. Oh, it's, it's a whole bunch of zoo bats. They look a lot, yeah, <laughs> they look uh, a little different. They got like a lick-a-tongue tongue going on. Speaking of Pokemon, I can't play that game, dang it. I really want to play Pokemon Go, but uh, Google can't find me. Their satellite's not really finding me. Here we go, bam, bam, bam. Nope, nope, nope. All day, boys. All day. 
That was closer than I'd like it to be. Um, I need to eat. Man, this eating thing. Cocoa pod cooking ingredient. Uh, grind it up if you've got chocolate. And you've got chocolate. I guess I could have a refreshing oculemonade. Ah, that didn't do nothing for hunger, though. Maybe I should just eat rice. No, I have to cook it, don't I? Didn't I boil some rice? Cocoa seed, potato plant, pearl peas. Um... Hmm. Campfire. Let's craft one. And let's put this. Said campfire. Where is it? No, no. Didn't I craft it? I swear I did. There it is. It's right there. And I got a sleeping bag too. Uh, let's make some food. Let's cook some steak, because I've got a ton, I think. Two. I've got two, and that's a ton. Uh, let's boil some rice. Might as well just make all this food, because I will use it eventually. Some boiled pearl peas. I can make pearl pea broth. Um, from what I understand, the better your food is, the better it is. If that makes sense. Um, so you got boiled pearl peas, and then you got, uh, Pearl pea broth, but I can't make it here apparently, which is cool because that means there's something else I have to craft with. Um, probably a stove or something. Anywho, let's eat some food. A cup of old rice. Um, it isn't the greatest food, but it's gonna have to do for now. All right, let's go in here. This is a different dimension. It's a like a challenge map basically. Challenge portal, unstable pocket dimension. Let's do it. Uh, you usually get some pretty cool items here, mainly weapons and stuff like that, if you can complete it, which, of course, I'm going to complete it, because I'm the best. Not really. <laughs> Do I want to step on this? Okay, we're good. So I have to open this console, which opens this door, which comes down here, open that console, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's just a challenge map, which I love. I love, love, love these in this game. I think it adds something a little different. It makes exploring worthwhile. Sometimes there's enemies in these, sometimes there isn't. I don't know. It might have changed since I last played too, though. All right, here's the big risk. Now, being that I'm survival, if I die here, I think I lose all of my items. So that makes this very, very risky. Um, we have to go that far. I have some rope on me. I think I'm gonna... Oh, rope doesn't work the same. Okay. I love that it doesn't, though. I can't throw that far. Okay. Oh, that probably wasn't the greatest move. Okay, let's swing it. I swing over to that one. Ugh. Oh god. Oh god. Please tell me I didn't lose everything. Oh. And there's me and my skivvies. They put underwear on me. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Okay. Well, that didn't go as planned. Um, maybe we should do some crafting. I should just start doing things. Um... First off, I need this invent inventor's table. I need some timber, so let's make some of that. Okay, inventor's table. The inventor's table is used to produce cra various crafting stations. So let's do that. Um, I probably should have made a flag, too. That's all right. Now, this is a furniture item, I believe. Is it not a furniture item, I believe? Is it a block? Is it... Where is it? Where? Oh my gosh. What is up with this thing? Seriously. Did I craft one or not? I think I exited the menu too quick or something. Oh, make one. Okay, I exited too quick. Done. Did you just craft an inventor's table? I estimate your chances of survival have improved by 7.2%. Well, I've already died, so... Let's put that right there. Uh, f ooh, foraging table. 
Used to produce my items for hunting, mining, and farming. I love that. Uh, what do we got? A primitive furnace, a spinning wheel, a wooden workbench. Uh, can be used to produce object or materials and objects needed to build a settlement. Okay. Um, maybe I should do the foraging table. And an anvil would be nice. And a primitive furnace would be nice. I need mud for this now. That's cool. Because that makes more sense. I would think clay personally, but um, who am I? <laughs> Attracts mo What? Oh my goodness. Look at this stuff. I like this moth trap. That's pretty sweet. Um, oh, hunting spears. Flares. Explorer's lantern. Um, oh man, I need to get some mud. Yep, we're going. We're going. I should have made a flag. I think I still can, though. Um, human flag. I need... Didn't it? Uh, I guess I can't. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we gotta make the trek again, I think. I think I went over. Should be easier since we've already made it before, so... I should have everything to where it's good enough to, you know, get over the terrain or through the terrain somehow. God, these guys are punks. Not really. I guess I didn't uh, do that. Okay, there we go. Could put a few more torches here. Kind of want to grab these though. Because usually I, like, I'm so used to having millions and millions of friggin' plant fiber. Yeah, this game's a lot different, my friends. I can't believe I died on a challenge map too. That's alright. It happens. And I did check in here. I, ooh. Those pods there, they're kind of like. Oh, hey, buddy. They're, uh, they give you like a random buff or debuff, I think. Is this mud? I think it's mud. There we go. Oh, grab up that sweet, sweet mud, Muley. I could just see a dude, like, literally grabbing handfuls of mud and shoving it into a bag. Like... Just, we need this mud, guys. Everybody's going, what are you doing? And you're just shoving <laughs> handful after handful of mud. No, we need this. Come on. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Seriously, somebody like art that. <laughs> Do that. Put it on DeviantArt. Show me. Oh, that's cool. I can interact with the object uh, since I'm near it. Like if I bring my cursor close enough, you see it light up. That's cool. I like the little tiny changes that they've made. And the big changes. There's a ton of big changes though. <clears throat> so we should be able to create a furnace now. Uh, which means we can make bars from our ore. Um, yeah, you really, really, really want to get down to the center of the planet though. Or at least core fragments. You know. You know what I'm talking about. Don't you do it! Bam, drop a tree on your face. The bam! <laughs> Here he comes! Whoop! Jeez! They've got a lot of hit points. And then they make the little things. Holy moly. Alright. Um, yeah. Now, did I go through or over? I think I went over. Instinct says I went over. Uh, maybe. Oh, great. Gosh, do I have to deal with you guys every time? Don't touch my butt. Please. Oh my gosh, I'm getting wrecked by slimes, guys. I am not proud of that. I guess I went through somewhere. 
There's some rice. I'm gonna take it for the seed. Gotta learn how to... I gotta farm too, seriously. Farming is a good, good thing. It's food, it's free, as long as you can uh, get back to it. But yeah, just foraging for this stuff isn't a bad thing. And the recipes later on are probably better than the ones we're making right now. Oh, I actually killed something without getting hit. Good job, Neely, you did it. Such pro. Alright, well, I gotta get, uh... I gotta get this done. Okay. Remember this part. Oh, you got wrecked. Right in your face. Bonk. Well, I guess we can't get every smart enemy. <laughs> what are those, like little potatoes or something? And you, are you friendly? Not anymore. I'm just curious what's... G Ooh, that guy gave me leather. Okay, and this I definitely went through. Oh, we made it back. Okay. Let's get down here. Seriously, Melee, let's let's focus getting through this place. Getting some cool stuff. Alright, core fragments. Core fragments now. And it's a bummer. We lost our uh We lost our uh challenge portal, but that's alright. I mean we're obviously under-equipped for that one. Oh! Alright. And I don't... You can't beam out when you're underground. Like, so far, so... We'll have to climb our way out, and that's why I'm kind of focusing on making it semi-accessible. And what do we have here? Torch me. Have some boxes. Probably have some sort of random loots in them. Okay. I know, I should make wooden platforms. Can I even make wooden platforms? I can. I should make some. Um... Good investment, guys. If you want to do anything in this game, wooden platforms for show. Um, we're going to replace our dirt with that. Now, let's see. I guess we could just do this. Now, I'm kind of being cautious, because sometimes these are guarded by uh, a baddie with a gun or something. This one doesn't seem to be, but... Caution never hurt anyone. I don't see anything. Okay, let's check the boxes. Uh, we have throwing darts. I like that. Um, what else do we have? Pixels? Pixels. And a bunch of storage crates. Which we'll take. Okay. Looks safe enough. And we got tar. This stuff is, uh... Interesting. I haven't really played around tar much. But, tar usually means oil, so I wonder if there's oil around here. No, looks like water over there. Okay. We're good for now. I guess I could take this route, but it seems like it's going to be a lot of work to get back. And am I centered? I think I'm centered, camera-wise. Get out of here, Zubat. Bam! 
In your face. Bam. Nice. Um, I'm not going to go that way. We got to go down. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, yeah, we need to heal up a little bit. The cool thing is, uh, we, when we quit the game, we start off where we left off. So that is very, very cool. I like games that do that because it doesn't make sense that, you know, you quit the game and then all of a sudden you have to, you're, you know, you're back uh, at the spawn point, you know. It makes it pretty cheaty, but, ooh, got some bones around. Oh, man, this is good. Cool, throwing bones and packed bones. I want that stuff. I don't have such a big pickup range either, which is nice. I know it doesn't sound nice, but I like the survival aspect, and I don't think you should be able to, like, just have things magically float into your inventory. You should have to go pick it up. And I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta go this way. I wanna get down. Um, can't really see how safe it is, but I saw something move over there. Look, it's a Grimer! Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. It looks terrifying. Like, it's probably going to kill me. Friendly? Nope, not at all. He just uh, oiled me, too, and then fell into a pit. That's okay. You can go down there, buddy. Got some packed or uh, dry sand, I think that is. I'm not gonna skip on this silver. I know it's not the most efficient way to mine, guys, but bear with me. <laughs> Rawr! Like a bear. Get it. I know I like think I like taking things too literally sometimes. <laughs> Especially in English, it's great. All right. I'm grabbing this coal. Cuz you can't have enough coal. I've always said it. Or iron. There's a reason for I I believe in those two things. It's because of Minecraft. Minecraft always taught me that iron makes the world go round, seriously. Like, if you don't have iron, you can't do anything in Minecraft. Well, you probably could, but I don't know. <laughs> Wet dirt. Just wanted to go and get a hit on him hit on them, see if they'll come to me. Doesn't seem like it though, does it? There we go. Just trying to see you guys, okay? It's kind of my signature move. Jump over him, hit him on the back. Bam! <laughs> I know it's not that cool, guys, but... It works. It's effective. How about that? Alrighty. So we're in a good spot right now. Kind of making our way down. It's slow, but it's an adventure, and I like adventures. And I am dying of hunger almost. Um, oh man. Guess I gotta eat more. Let's eat our boiled pearl peas. Got some cooked steak, but I'm kind of holding on to it, hoping that uh, that feeds me a little better. It's kind of a long run food. So this is going to take a bit getting down here.
great. More coal. I gotta quit picking it up though. We just gotta get down is what we gotta do, so let's pick a spot and just go for it. Oh man, this is some hard cobblestone. That's another thing I like. Ooh, gold. Another thing I like about this game is that uh, not all cobblestone has the same like density, it seems like. Some of it's like really, really hard, but other types like... Okay, here. We'll try it here. So, we've got three of this kind and one of that kind. Which one do you think is going to break first? See? That's what I like. <laughs> so this stuff's a little softer. Um, we should go through that if we can. Actually, I should scoot over one anyway. Because I don't think I... Nope, can't jump it. There we go. Man, we are nowhere near the bottom, I don't think, either. Looks like silver in a hole. Cave over that way, a little bit of silver. Bones. Lots of bones. I love the backgrounds in this game. So cool. So we got bones and bones and bones. Pick up some bone block. Packed bones, I mean. They fall like sand too, which is pretty cool. Okay, that's good enough. I can create that from bones, so... Some sort of ruin. It's unsettling, because sometimes you'll find some lunatic down here. What's that moving? Ah, it's one of those water guys. I remember those from uh, the last time I played. Can I create rope, speaking of which? Okay, good, I can. Um. I see we make like, like uh, 20 of these. Probably not the best place to be doing this, but I'm going to scoot back a little bit too, just so those guys don't find me. Okay, cool. So we have a little more rope. It's got to be something up here. Looks like there's a door there. some treasure all right um i don't think there's a lunatic in here but okay cool Ooh, I like that looks like an avian tomb um tech card take the chest check the tomb it's an undecorated stone tomb it's got a huge inventory for storage so i'm gonna take it i know sounds gross Storing stuff in, an, stuff in an old tomb, but these guys are mean, if I remember correctly. Yep, those bubbles hurt really bad because each bubble does like a hit, so their DPS is super high. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Um, let's get down here. Is that a bonobo? Ooh, bone boo, whatever you want to call it. Fish in a bone and spooky pie. Mmm, sounds... Oh god, I just got buried. And there's oxygen for burial? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Um... There's no way. There's no way, I just got caved in, guys. Uh, can I use... Salve to keep me alive? No, I don't think I can. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, boy. I hope this heals quicker than I can, uh...
Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There's just too many bones. There's just too many bones, guys. No! Oh, I'm trying my best to survive. I have to do this. Oh my gosh. We're gonna use all of our salve. I see the bottom though. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, Muley. Dig faster. No! No, 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 no! Come on! You're right there! You're right there! Oh, give me air! Give me air, please. Ah, oh, it's giving me like a second of oxygen every time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump, 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 jump. Anything, anything. Oh my gosh. I have one more salve left. This is it. This is it. I, I lose all of my healing ability. Or I die. Did I just get air? Oh. Holy crap, that was tense for a second. I am buried in pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, something to remember, I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm still pretty buried in, but... Ugh. Come on. Just gotta get this stuff off my legs a little bit. Just, come on. Just gotta get unpinned. Oh. Whew! Oh man, Muley. Don't ever do that again. Scared the poop out of myself. Um, celebration rice? No, I'll have some meat this time. I think it feels about the same. Oh! Okay, so the canned food uh, is will keep you alive longer, and this stays fresh for a while, so... Oh, you have to actually... Huh. That's interesting. I think you actually have to preserve your food. So it doesn't rot or spoil. Maybe that would be a cool mechanic. I would love that. Oh man, that was too dang close. So yeah, no more digging the bones from above. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no more of that, Neely. Like I said, I want to survive. I mean, even if my items don't disappear. I still want to do my best to live. Uh, I need more salve. What am I doing? How many can I make? 20. I think I'll make 10. Alright. Oh, man. Talk about close calls. Oh, that's a spitter. Yep, I knew it. That's not good. Oh, what are you? You don't look, you look creepy. I don't want anything to do with you, okay? So just shoo, just shoo. Did give me raw steak though, so thank you. And it looks like we're getting into some of the sludge, slime, nasty biomes. Where it's just gross, disgusting, filth everywhere biome. Nope. These guys are mean. Oh man, he's a he's a sharpshooter. Holy crap! Oh, we found something. It's uh something. But on that note, my friends, I'm gonna make this safe real quick, and I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series. Leave me a like, subscribe, tell your friends, share, um, and yeah, I'll bring you some more next time. Bye!